The margins for error amongst title chasing and relegation battling teams in the Nigerian Professional Football League continues to diminish as we approach the business end of the season. One of Nigeria's biggest teams, Shooting Star Sports Club, have had themselves in a battle to avoid going down all season. The return of Coach Benga Ogumbote has revived their form, especially at home. The visit of Niger Tornadoes was therefore seen as a chance to consolidate their home run in a battle against the job. Here are the highlights from the Lekon Salami Stadium in Ibadan. Good play from Salau Ibrahim. Adedeji. And now Adetunji. And right there. An opportunity to steal. Look at this. The first goal. Very poor defending from Niger Tornadoes. They allowed the ball to bubble in that box for so long. And there were so many, as many as uh, eight players of uh, Niger Tornadoes in that box, but none of them uh, could clear that ball. And what a great goal from Adebogun. Well, the very first comment I made today was that I'd like to see how tired Adebogun, wearing jersey number eight with a sweet left foot, could pass the ball to the likes of Ajani to perhaps make hay. He decided to take the gauntlet upon himself and has made hay. First goal to him, a sweet left foot, a ground that I was after Adebogun could not slam down. He chose his angle and placed it hard and slow. That's why the despairing nerve of Mustafa Aliko in goal for Tornadoes. He couldn't get close to the ball, but brilliant technique to have hit the ball low from Adeboku. Seen a 30 minutes going into the game. Shooting stars still leading 1 0. Ibrahim, Adetunji running to the left, Adetunji trying to cut in, defending. Yes, Adebogu, Adebogu, left foot, a great cross, a great goal, Adetunji it is! What a goal, Sunday Adetunji goes straight to the camera, gives the camera a big kiss to celebrate, what a goal! Fantastic cross from Debogu. Great supply and great goal. Now, I was waxing lyrical about this kid. Look at the way he took the veteran Samuel Swaya to the cleaners yet again. I swung this ball wonderfully. But the Tunji, who left up, took his time, chose his angle, and dropped the ball behind Mustafa Aliko for the second goal of the game. And the Tunji might have scored this goal. But then, Tayo at Debogu deserves a lot of kudos for wonderful supply. He scored one, made one. This is Classic goal from Adetunji Sunday. Nice keys to the camera. You love the goal from that man. But uh, that cross was sumptuous. Great cross. A bully great header from Sunday Adetunji. Shooting stars are shining here. Goal number three and goal number six for this man. I praise today. Well, I think you should take some of the blame for this one. Captain goalkeeper Mustafa Aliko. And Sunday seem to have come too early. For Sunday at the it might be a Saturday. But I just cannot believe it. That was poor defending also on the part of Chile Nuanze. We are one seen. I've been clamoring for a couple of times that they play the straight line defense and it's very dangerous. Why you've got nippy attackers like Ajani Ibrahim and some of the Tunji. Yet again, giving some of the Tunji an opportunity to, to jab the ball into the net after taking it away from goalkeeper Tambe Charles for the second of his game and the third for his game. Tambe Charles beaten three times already. Nice old Tornadoes. Oh, the goalkeeper! What a disaster! It's a goal! <laughs> this is unbelievable goalkeeping. Goalkeeper Tambe Charles putting the ball in his own net. 
No pressure at all on first arrow that they call it in tennis. Kept in Nigel Tornado is a goal. And the fans <laughs> not happy at all. He wasn't under pressure at all. Tembe. Now what came over him? He let his concentration slip there. Normally you should catch the ball, clutch it, and let it just go. Unfortunately, perhaps he was thinking what to do after catching the ball when he hadn't even caught the ball. Now this short school boy error on Tembe Chas, and he will not be happy with himself. Because he wasn't under pressure. End of the match here at the, at the Lincoln Salami Stadium. Referee Ozibo Charles bringing proceedings to an end. The boys in red have been beaten thoroughly. A comfortable evening for the Oluyoli Warriors did the world of good to their lowly position. As the battle fans continue to believe that their famous team will play top flight football next season.